Willy Wonka, who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. He's making a tippy, that makes you all so dandy. Who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. In the world, Willy Wonka. Who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. Boys for lots of girls and boys. Who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. Once upon a time, in a small town not too far away, there's a boy named Charlie. He lives with, with his mother and his four grandparents in a small town, a small house, and then for a big town. How do you do? And how do you do? And how do you do again? He's very glad to meet you. So, this is why they lived in that small town, because they were too poor. And this is, this is about the torture of Wanderbath. Alright. So we don't have to pay very much money. His father was... Why do his father was dead? I'm worried about Charlie. He works too hard for someone his age. He should have some time for fun. Some off hours a day. New head kept in bedroom and he's all worth his family. Well, he's followed a life. So we got my shirt back. I'm gonna help this family. Dad, all the years you said that, you're not gonna find enough strength to help anyone. I wish I could. Hello there. Grandpa George, Grandma Georgina, Grandma Justine, Grandpa Joe. Want some food? Oh, good. So it's school today. It's great. Here's the paper route. It's finished. Well, I should tell you something. I was passing Wonka's factory today, and there was a the man looking at the factory. I think it was a tinkerer. He said, nobody goes into that place. No one goes out. You should know. Nobody ever goes to this place. Not since the crash day, Willy Wonka locked that factory. Why do you lock it? The only other K-Mag factory was sending in spies. Mr. Warfare to serve as Mark Wonka's secrets. Mr. Wonka shot it. I'll be ruined. I'll have to close the factory. That's what he did. Lock the beast and dash completely. It's only about three years later, but it's amazing if it happened. Factory work started working at full blast. More delicious kids came out than before. He said, No one. Absolutely no one to sell. Someone must be helping him. Who is helping him? That is the biggest mystery of them all. There's things you should know. I got the paper today and it said, Wonka's factory might be open to lucky few. It said, it's going to be five golden tickets to five lucky winners from any in the any candy bar. I don't know, it was in the hall. Charlie finding one. Sure enough, the next day, the first ticket was solved. I don't want to go into the school. Probably are. The proud, proud town of Dusseldorf focuses in Germany. What the problem? Bus is glue. Bus is glue. Pride of Western Germany. The problem is up the whole world. Because the society feels like you the first people dig it. I'm great. That's a choice. I got sorry about Bonka. It's going to cause him a bunch of impunch. Bus is glue is proud of fighting. He's always interested. It's all white men's. The best boy that he needs in the direction, which is as proud as it can be. This terrible, very repulsive boy. Sure enough, in London, in England, the second golden necklace wouldn't be caught. I want to be the first one to write you those tickets! I know, Miss Bot. No, Baruka, we have to talk. Alright, what is it? I'm the man that found it! Baruka, give me time! I'm not a magician! I want it now! What's wrong with those twats? We have some luck. That's all right. Please find it! What noise? I want it now! Move it! Move it! This one might have got to get the one top plus that came back in! Not even trying to chance me! I can't push her any harder. 
working for hours and hours. The problem is I find it the next day. Might be able to pop in and find it. And then I speak to you again. You're a rotten mean bully. You know you mean anything I want. And I won't go to school to have it. Please, Baruka, sweetheart, angel, darling. Well, we fought against that. The worst fighting of them. What do we do? I thought I thought I thought I Sure enough, Baruka saw fun on the second world ticket. She was even more repulsive. She needs a good kick in the pants, does she? Everyone, people were going for mad searches to That's the second ticket. In Russia, China, England, France, Tokyo, everywhere. Or, some guy in the computer said we'd find kind of tickets. Computer piece of towel. Only gave to Ron Beck is ten million dollars. These kids were arrested. Found him. Found him on rabbit. He came with a large dagger. It was Charlie's birthday. Happy birthday, Charlie! Happy birthday! Uh, terrific. She did it at George or Josephine and me. Here's another girl from Grandpa George and me. It's Blanca. I'll open it. I want to see that gold. Let me see. Well? No, not here. So I had it. Mine. The fun one. The washer. Well, I'll buy No, no, no. It's all yours. You take it. I remember that people were searching everywhere for the tickets. Mad searches. Only for one going to three shops getting tickets. There's people earning laundry spike tickets. There's people going crazy buying their tickets. And eventually one day. Hi! I found the third golden ticket. My name is Bob Beauregard. That's how you found it. I'm going to turn normally. And when I heard about these tickets in the wild, because I left and got to come and switch to the keyboard and help me start getting lucky. Now, of course, the background is gone. I dress the door is gone. I, all day it's for meal time, but I stick my here. I call it mother. This comic truth is for three months solid. That's not a world record. Be right with my right with Corpus Bun. And boy, was she mad. Uh, I, I know he's got a fully with lots of gum for years. Woohoo! Now, now Lucky Warner number four. Let's meet Mike TV. Want to check that thing off? Are you kidding? Are you crazy? What wants to hear about the ticket? Shut up! I'm busy! I wish you would have been wrong. I love all these shooting guns. These are the proper ones when there's no shooting. You know, if they're, they're pumping each other full of lead, the flash to us, oh, flows, give me the old one, two, three, and knock on us. I'd be doing it myself. It's a life, believe me. And meanwhile, this is fucking a her body in the pamper when she was coming home from the laundromat. I don't believe this. Is it true all children act like this nowadays with these flashing her about news? I'm sure it's the fifth one of those undeserving kids that doesn't deserve it. Then one night, Grandpa Joe will, will trail you out. Why can't we be out, Grandpa? Something wrong? Grandpa, that lady was for tobacco. I know, give it up. Well, let's open it. You open it. Now, um, which one do I open it? Um, that is. Clean it. This. A bit more. You open it. I'm too nervous. You open it. Alright. Here it goes. Let's see this little funny side of it and the first to kill the laughter. Excitement of of the Wonka factory and all that's forgotten. And this contest and all that's forgotten. Never enough for him to get it. 
Then it be and snow. At first, a few feathers swirling wood. Then heavy fleece would quickly cover everything. So spell and spell and spell and didn't want to do. The bucket family had to starve. We tried to let him come home, it's like a hunger than usual. We thought he saw a dollar in it. Oh, he picked it up. A whole dollar. To have a bit of one thing. It meant food. When it's the nearest candy shop. <coughs> Hi. I'd like more a job. Okay. What kind? Sibler, Sizzler, um, Look at whoever crummy on. Walk on my shovel in this jar. I'll have one wonderful scrub delicious bar. Okay? Now we'll take this around. I don't want to hide these anymore. Take it easy. You get reflux if you swap like that. Bye. I'll take one more. My grandpa Joe. We live more this time. No one wants to do it. We have to find the bar. We have to find the bar. Kind of looks like curious. Can't run around the bar. That was a golden ticket. Oh my god, you found the golden ticket right here! Don't tear it! That thing's precious! I've been searching that thing for weeks and weeks. I've been searching for the fifth golden ticket for weeks. Now buy for you. Ten dollars. You killed you should give him five hundred dollars that. The only way you have it. Why don't you help it? Don't stop me you get there. Thank you! I'll see you soon! Anyway, Mrs. Bucket returned home from war or not. She was worried about losing her job. She was trying to fill the piece of grandparents are eating so. Flickery, why are you about to take it? I'm about to take it, it's mine! Is this a joke? No one's already tickets. What does it take? I found it in the paper. This is it the paper? I found some money in the street, I bought two kids boards and it's amazing. I found the ticket, it's mine! Read a joke for him to see. Raise you the lucky find this ticket from Mr. Wally Wonka. Set this ticket to the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning, the first day of February, and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your own family, but no one else. In your wallet, dreams you cannot imagine, the most surprising thing to wait you, you die! I'm not Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Grandpa, I wish you could go. I'll go. I'll take him. I'll take good care of him. I know. I don't know if you're going to should go. It's going to be really exciting. I'll take good care of him. Really. Okay. Wait a minute. It says 10 o'clock in the morning. First day of February. First day of February. That's tomorrow. Oh my god. We have a lot to do. Come here. Wash your face. Wash your shoes. Shoes. Iron your shirt. Blow your nose. Brush your teeth. You don't have a lot of time. Grandpa. Relax. The old is a knock on the door, this is fucking when they answer it. All those reporters that have come to get this letter from the papers. The complete pandemonium in the house. It's been midnight before they fucking get rid of them and go dead. 